Hello wine people, do you know what are the four ways that you can concentrate the sugars inside the grapes in a natural way? These are noble rot, drying grapes on the vine, drying grapes after picking, and freezing the grapes on the vine. The whole point of concentrating the sugar inside the grape is to remove the water from, from the grapes so the sugar is more concentrated. But while concentrating the sugars, we're also concentrating the, the acidity and the flavor intensity of these grapes. Ah, the noble rot. A noble fungus that creates some of the most specific and complex sweet wines in the world, like Tokai, Sotern, Trockenbauschlese. But you need to have special conditions in the vineyard in order for this noble rot not to become gray rot. First of all, you need to have ripe grapes when the noble rot affects the grapes. The second thing, in order for the rot to develop in the first place, you need to have misty, damp conditions in the morning that needs to continue in a warm, dry, sunny afternoon. So the noble rot doesn't become black rot. So what the noble rot does to the grapes, it actually it creates a microscopic puncture inside the grape that allows the water from the grape to evaporate. So with this, by removing the water, we are concentrating the sugar, acid and flavor. And actually noble rot creates a very specific noble rot flavor to the grapes. Sweet wines made by noble rot are usually very expensive, but you need to understand how labor intensive this process is and how rare it is. First of all, noble rot doesn't develop every year. It doesn't develop also in the same quantity every year. And also the grapes that are affected by noble rot, these are the, the grapes are not affected like whole bunches affected by noble rot. These are individual berries that are affected. So when you're harvesting these grapes, you actually need to go and pick grape by grape, which is very labor intensive. So next time when you have a sweet wine by made by noble rot, try to appreciate it a little bit more.